Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. It's still rainy outside, but either way, we still at C Block. Y'all know the vibes, man. Listen, bro, we halfway through this day, but you know, I just wanted to come at y'all with some uh, scripture real quick, you know what I'm saying? So we could put on this spiritual armor, you know what I mean? And get right out here, man. So today I'm coming with, coming with Romans. I'm coming with Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 14. Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 14. All right? And 12 reads... Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For ye, 13, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Okay, so in verse 12, it say, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to flesh. Okay, so we don't owe the flesh anything. You know what I'm saying? But look how often, every time the flesh bark at us, we so quick to try and feed it. As if that's going to give us salvation. You know what I'm saying? If that's going to save our spirit, it won't. You know, if anything... It's going to be just like uh, like uh, verse uh, 13 say, for if ye live after the flesh, then ye shall die. And look at how close to death I was. You know what I'm saying? Because I live after the flesh. I chase the flesh. I gave into the flesh every time I wanted to drink, every time I wanted to smoke. Every time I wanted to do drugs, every every time I wanted to eat bad food, every time I wanted to release. So that is death. Why you think you see so many people that's overweight? Why you think you see so many people with health problems? Why you think there's so many people with addictions? You know what I'm saying? Because they constantly feed that flesh. They constantly after the flesh. But that's not life. You know what I'm saying? That's not life. That's why I say, therefore, brethren, we are not debtors to the flesh. We don't owe the flesh anything to live after the flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's about life after this as well. You know what I'm saying? But when you're living by the flesh, that's death. And that's not going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. Because if you after the flesh, then guess what, bro? You sinning out here. If you after the flesh, you full of demons out here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, those, you're going you gonna to be out here committing all types of transgressions against the commandments and the laws because you more about feeding your flesh than the spirit. So you're not going to be worried about anything or anybody else. You're not going to be having Christ in your heart. You're not going to be thinking about the most high. What you're going to be thinking about? Constantly feeding the flesh. You're going to be after the flesh. So you're going to be under possession of those demons, of that demonic energy, of Satan, because that's what we know. That's what Satan want us to do. Satan want us to indulge in as much sin, as much worldly things, as much pleasure, as much fleshly things as possible. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, bro, that's not going to cut it in this life. Or the next. You ain't going to have no next life. Your next life is going to be in that lake of fire if you continue to feed the flesh. If you continue to be after that. If you continue to think you in debt to the flesh. So you you listening, you know, to everything it tell you to do. You know, so you have no control over your emotions. And guess what? That's going to lead you into the hellfire because you're going to do things irrational. You won't think rationally. You know what I'm saying? That's what feeding the flesh do. You don't think rationally when you feed the flesh because you have zero control. You have zero control over your emotions, your feelings. You're going to be full of that pride and the most high hates pride. Yeah. 
That's why it's one of the seven deadliest sins of all, bro. Because that pride, bro, listen, bro, that pride is going to have you out here thinking that it's all about you. You know what I'm saying? That pride is going to have you putting yourself above the most high. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just going to be your one-way ticket right there. You know, but like verse 14 say, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So when you led by the Spirit, bro, you're going to put the right things into your body. You're going to put the right things into your mind. You're going to walk with Christ. So guess what, bro? You're going to be doing, you're going to be trying to follow up behind Christ and be perfect just like he was. And how was Christ perfect? By following the law, statutes, and commandments, bro, because you're going to know. You're going to feel it in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that in your vibration. You're going to feel that in your energy. So Therefore, there you will be a son of God, just like Christ is. And that's what we have to understand, that we are sons of God, but we have to carry ourselves like it. You know what I'm saying? The Most High don't want us feeding the flesh and thinking that we in debt to the flesh. We in debt to the Most High, not the flesh. If you feel like you in debt to the flesh and owe the flesh everything, then you are not of God, bro. You are of this world. You are of them demons. You are of Satan, bro. You are of Satan because you're not out here feeding the spirit. So if you if you only feeding the flesh, you treating people all messed up. You treating yourself messed up. You know what I'm saying? You treating yourself messed up. You know what I mean? You out here doing all of the robbing, all of the killing, bro, because you want to keep feeding it. You out here treating people all types of ways, bad attitudes, crossing people, manipulating people, just grimy. You just grimy, bro, because guess what? You want to have it your way all the time. You know what I mean? You're not going to think about nobody. Just think about people like who just don't think about themselves, bro. They only want to they only want to do what's right for them and that's it. So they won't consider anybody else and whatever they got to do to get over on the next. And guess what? They just going they going to do just that. It don't matter how evil it is. It don't matter how dark it is. It don't matter how demonic it is. They going to do whatever it takes to feed that addiction. And that addiction is their flesh. You know what I'm saying? That addiction is they pride. You know what I mean? They that addiction is that gluttonous that the, the, the gluttony that's in them. You know what I mean? To where they want to just that you know all they gonna think about is the money. You know what I'm saying? All they gonna think about is the is the women. All they gonna think about is worldly possessions, bro. They ain't don't none of that feed the spirit, bro. Why you think so many people out here wanting to chase all of those things, bro? And and, and it all leads to just it, to to feeding the flesh, bro. It's not it's not they not doing it for the spirit. They not doing it to help others. You know, of course you're supposed to help yourself too, because when you help you, you help people around you. But a lot of the times, you know, it's just for the wrong reasons when it's just about the flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, nine times out of ten, when you doing all of that chasing and that, bro, listen, bro. Like if it was if 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 you was if it was for your if it was for your spirit, if you was in the spirit, bro, listen, you was gonna track that anyways, because what's for you is for you. The most high will have you on the right track to receive all of the blessings that's yours. You know what I'm saying? All the blessings that you earn by walking with Christ, by following them laws, statutes, and commandments, by keeping the most high, your father close, bro. You ain't going to have to worry about nothing. But when you're seeing people just always on the hunt, always on the chase, you know what I'm saying? And they not caring about who they hurt. You know what I'm saying? They not caring about they self. You know what I'm saying? Like they care about they they care about the flesh more than they actually care about they self, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how blind people be. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, if you see somebody that's on drugs and they know that you know that their health is declining, you know what I'm saying? If you see somebody that's overweight and you and they know that they just so big they can't even breathe, they know they got all these problems and their health is declining, you know, if you got people that's out there <clears throat> that's willing to do all of this crime and willing to kill and they know they could possibly kill, end up dead, end up in jail, listen, bro, you know, you don't really care about yourself. You just care about feeding something. You got to understand. 
You just care about feeding that addiction. You just care about feeding them demons and the demons inside of you is just going to want more and more and more and more. That's why we have to get on this journey. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have to do proper dieting. That's why we fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why we, you know, we don't do things how we used to. We don't watch the same shit. We don't listen to the same shit. Like, we, we just used to, we don't even talk the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, we just, we evaluate things a lot <coughs> different. You know what I'm saying? We think a lot differently than we did before because now we walk in the spirit. And we're trying to keep it that way. So that's what it's saying in Romans chapter 8 verses 12 through 14, bro. Go read it for yourself. This is not my words. This is the words of God. You know what I'm saying? These are the words of God. So, you know, it's important for us to keep on gaining this type of edification. And again, if y'all, you know, see a different angle on this, don't be scared to put it in the comments. If y'all got a precept for this... Because listen, it's precepts throughout the whole Bible to help you gain understanding. I, I figured if I just read the Bible from the beginning to the end, then I have understanding. No, bro, you just read. But you gain understanding through precepts, bro. So if any of y'all got precepts that go along with this, that can help, you know, others understand more, help me understand more, then don't hesitate to throw it in there, man, because I'm learning. You know, we learning together. Iron sharpens iron. So we got to continue in this walk so we could be right in this life and the next, man. We ain't even going to be worried about this life, man. It's all about life after this. It's all about our soul after this, bro. Here right now in this, in this, bro, like this is, this is just our avatar, you know, but you want to do the right things here so you could be invited in there. And that's the kingdom of heaven. But if you don't do right here, then you know where you're going. And you don't want to go there in that next life, bro. You don't want to be down there. You know, you want to do what's right right now and get right right now, you know, so you could be next to your father. So, so, so the most high telling you job well done. So you won't be the least in the kingdom, bro. You know what I mean? So, man, yo, let's get right. You know what I mean? And that's my word, man. My name is Jason. It's Sin Take. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace.